Hey friends, I hope y'all are having a great day today. If you're new, my name is Alicia and I just thought I would pick the most chaotic week ever to bring y'all along for a what's for dinner video. So, I hope y'all enjoy. I'm making a zucchini lasagna. So, I'm starting on the sauce. This is several of our garden tomatoes, a can of tomatoes, a onion, garlic and I sauteed those in baking grease and then in the oven I have like basically dehydrated slightly some zucchini uh, slices that I made and these are going to be the noodles. Here's some fresh herbs from our garden. I'm also going to be mixing cottage cheese, mozzarella, and some parmesan together for the cheese mixture. For my meat I'm going to be cooking up a pound of ground beef it's burger patties and then I used the immersion blender to make my sauce smooth I also added the herbs that I showed you along with salt pepper and a little bit of sugar the sugar is optional it just is gonna cut down the acidity it wasn't very much maybe a tablespoon okay I got my meat sauce mixed up I put about a third of it maybe down I'm gonna just kind of layer this like I would a lasagna Okay, so admittedly it's not perfect, but now I'm going to put my cheese down. Okay, so this time I'm trying out just the shredded cheese. So this is my Parmesan and mozzarella. It's a good bit of it because we're not going to be able to make very many layers. And then I'm going to put my cottage cheese on top. Okay, my cottage cheese is down. Now I'm going to put another layer of just plain shredded cheese. Like zucchini, I think next time I can safely use like three really big zucchinis. And now I'm going to put more meat sauce and then sprinkle just a small sprinkling of cheese. I'm going to bake this in the oven at about 375 for I don't know how long. I'll tell you later. To go along with the lasagna, I made some cheesy garlic bread. I just took a Italian loaf from Walmart Bakery, added butter, garlic, salt, parsley, and then the rest of the mozzarella and parmesan. This was delicious. I will say... I definitely recommend mixing the cheese mixture and having a lot more zucchini. At dinner, I have cut up one onion, one small red bell pepper, and then I've split a, or like cut in half, a large chicken breast. And this is Cajun two-step all over. You could also use taco seasoning for what I'm going to be doing with these. I'm making some quesadillas. And then I put a little bit of butter and I'm going to put a half a, st a half a block of cream cheese on top and bake it at 375 for probably about half an hour. Now this is going into the oven. To finish making these, I just shredded up my chicken once it was done and mixed everything together. And then I shredded up some cheese. I put everything in a tortilla and cooked it on both sides with some butter. And these were so good and super easy for this night's dinner i made chicken marsala roasted potatoes and fried squash i got all my mise en place done uh, which means i just prepped everything before i started for the potatoes i just you know cut them up washed them and then i tossed them in some oil added salt and pepper roasted them in the oven until they were nice golden brown and then I'm going to add some garlic butter to them and the last little bit of parmesan that I had which you see now for the squash I'm just gonna fry it up in a skillet with some salt and pepper and of course I'll use oil to fry it just a little bit though to make the chicken I just tossed it in some flour that was seasoned with salt and pepper and fried it in my skillet it was sliced thin so it cooked fairly quickly and then for the marsala sauce, I just cooked up my mushrooms, onions, garlic, in some butter. And once they were cooked to my liking, I added in the marsala wine, let it cook down. And then I added in chicken broth with Italian herbs. And of course this was amazing. I'll put the recipe in the description box for y'all. For dinner on this night, we had pepper steak over rice. This is a super quick and easy meal. You can make it even easier by using like the frozen pepper and onion blend that you can even get from the Dollar Tree. Anyways, I just cut up my onion and bell peppers 
and sauteed them to where they were almost to the point that I wanted them. That's everything you'll need for the sauce. It will be in the description box. Then I set all of those to the side. This is deer steak that I sliced into thin strips and I cooked it in my skillet. Um, I just put cornstarch on it till it was nice and brown. And then I added my sliced garlic and let it cook for a few more minutes. Then I turned off the heat, added in my peppers and onions. We just served this over some steamed white rice and topped it with some sesame seeds. It was really good. At dinner, we're having Tuscan chicken. I will need chicken, half and half, baby spinach. This one has also got baby kale in it, some pasta, uh, cherry tomatoes from our garden, butter, garlic, uh, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, and a bakery loaf of bread. I'll also be using some oil. Just gonna fry my chicken up in a skillet. I'm choosing not to salt and pepper it right now. You can if you want. And I'm just flipping it whenever it easily releases from the pan. Putting it to the side. It does not have to be fully cooked at this point. Now that all my chicken's cooked, I'm, I turned this down to low and I'm gonna cook all of my tomatoes until they all bust open. These have garlic, butter, parsley, and mozzarella on them, and I'm gonna put them in the oven and air fry them. Now that these have wilted down, I'm gonna add in all this spinach, and I've got water that's came up to a bowl. I'm gonna add the pasta. Now that this is cooked down, I'm gonna add in about two cups of half and half. Now that this is up to a simmer, I'm gonna add in my parmesan. Once my sauce thickened, I added my chicken back in and we just put some butter in the noodles so they wouldn't stick together. And now dinner's done. That's dinner. We are starting super early. I'm just putting a pound of dry beans, pinto beans, in my little crock pot it cooks super hot i did not soak these so i'm just gonna let them cook with water for now in advance for all the noise but these have been cooking on high for three hours now i'm gonna add garlic powder onion powder chicken bouillon salt pepper and a little bit of bacon grease and then i am going to add a little bit more water to these here's what they're looking like now this bacon grease will melt down and these are already pretty tender, so they don't need very much longer cooking wise. But I'm just gonna let them cook until later. My instant pot, I've got some bacon grease and butter, um, and it's on the saute function. I've cut up a very small head of cabbage. I'm gonna saute it for a little bit in there, and then I'm gonna pressure cook it for about four minutes. Now that this is cooked down a little bit, I'm gonna add some pepperoncini juice, some chicken bouillon. Salt, pepper, onion powder, and then some garlic powder, and then just a little bit of water, and then I pressure cook it, like I said, for four minutes, and then I'm going to let it do a natural release and sit on warm until we're ready to eat. Okay, in case you don't know how to use the pressure cooker, mine specifies that I must have a half a cup of liquid at least, so that's the amount of liquid I added. Now, I'm just going to press manual and then I'm gonna drop it down to four minutes. And then just press start, and most importantly, make sure your sealer is on sealing. Go along with our beans and cabbage. I've got some radishes that I've chopped up. Then I'm gonna add these potatoes to it. I'm gonna roast them in the oven. Of course, I'm going to chop the potatoes up and clean everything. Then I'm gonna season it um, with salt, pepper, and then put some oil and then just air fry it in my oven for a good while until they're nice and crispy. Alright, so I put oil, salt, pepper on these, mix them around real good, and now they're going into my oven. I'm going to air fry them on 450 for probably about 20 minutes before I stick my cornbread in. Tonight, the roasted potatoes and radishes. Um, this is just Jiffy cornbread that I put um, butter on top, our cabbage, and then the uh, pinto beans. Tonight's dinner we're having honey garlic chicken. 
and I just cubed it up and put cornstarch on it and salt. So there's soy sauce, honey, sriracha, sesame oil, fresh and jarred garlic, green onions, uh, chicken bouillon powder, ginger powder, and water. And then chicken just the way I want it. I'm gonna add in my sauce. I'm just gonna cook this for a few more minutes. But this is simmered. I'm gonna add in a cornstarch slurry. I sprinkled sesame seeds over the top. We're having it with mushrooms and onions that I sauteed in butter, some steamed rice, and some fried squash and zucchini. Hope y'all enjoyed this quick what's for dinner video. Before I ended it, I just wanted to make sure that all of y'all knew that Jesus loves y'all and I love y'all too. And I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.